there? Ski interview, Simpson Sears, October 21st, producer AC. Hi, this is Bob Dawson, director of Mount Seymour Ski School, and today we have an interview with world-famous Jean Varnier from France, winner of the 1960 Olympics, winner World Championships 1958, seven... Hello, Jean. Jean, uh, you've got a tremendous background in skiing. Um, a lot of people are very familiar with your name, of course, from the Olympics, from the books that you've written. Uh, we're very familiar with two of your books that you've written on skiing here, Ski Vaidland, Ski ABC. But uh, I've been informed that you've written more. How many books have you written? Well, about uh, five until now, and uh, next is for uh, the day after tomorrow, I think. That will make six. What uh, is your new book? Uh, it's a you know, we have been writ ri writing with uh, uh, Joubert, who, who is from Grenoble, yes. these books uh, about techniques, and it was very complicated at the beginning, a uh, kind of a thesis, you say so, I think. Yes, mm -hmm. And uh, after, we, we, we tried really to, to make them easier to, to read and easier way to learn, too. And uh, this is the last one. It should be the easiest to read. <laughs> <laughs> Jean, you mentioned Grenoble. Uh, this is where you uh, achieved your degree in law? Yes. Oh, fine. Yes, and you. now you're also mayor of Morzine, I understand? Yes. But uh, we're just sh looking at a picture of Jean's home here. Um, as we opened up, it's a beautiful ski area. And uh, a lot of people quite familiar as we'd like to have them uh, with the tremendous skiing that is available in Morzine and around Morzine. Well, in fact, in uh, all the French Alps, well, that's uh, one of the reasons why I'm here. Uh, this is the sixth time I'm coming to Canada, first in Vancouver. I'm very glad to be there because it's a very nice town. Uh, I found out that um, most of people doesn't know uh, anything about French Alps and skiing in French Alps. Uh, and right in time, I think we we have so so many resorts now, very modern, very very good for skiing, uh, all the accommodations and so on. So I went with the ski movies and tried to show people uh, how nice it is to ski in France too. Oh uh, yes, I'm sure it is, and I hope a lot of people get a chance to get there one day, Jean. I know, especially all of my instructors in the ski school and a lot of the racers in the city of Vancouver are very anxious to hear about your win uh, at the Olympics in Squaw Valley. Uh, I've been asked uh, to ask you if you would um, explain more about your egg position that you developed for the use uh, of the downhill in Squaw Valley that allow helped allow you to win that race. Oh yes, certainly, and especially because uh, Sco Valley was the type of downhill where you had to use a lot this kind of position. I should say that uh, the egg position is not the only way to ski, it's especially the, to ski on downhill. It's especially used to, as the, the spirit of the downhill race. It's what you're trying to do, but you, you, you can't do every time because it's uh, so difficult on bumps and when you're jumping and so on. But this is the mind, the spirit of the downhill. And uh, this is especially made to, to go fast through the air. It's uh, the aerodynamic position, and it comes only after that you have good boots, good skis, a good shape, good wax, good technique to slide, your skis on snow, and then if you want to go faster, you have to be, to have a better position in the air. Aerodynamic. That's it. Did you use wind tunnels or anything like this to test out this position? Yes, sure. I imagine you had to do all of that. <laughs> yes. Uh, you, you did something else in the Olympics at Squaw Valley that was uh, shattering to the world almost. You won the world champion, or the Olympics 
on a metallic ski. Am I right? Yes, it was the first time. Was it a metallic time. ski built uh, on this principle? Oh, exactly. This was with the LS60 from Rossignol, and you have here an LS Major, and this is the uh, same shape. The only thing is that you have always a uh, sandwich process with the two, two pieces of metal, wood inside, and uh, on the bottom plastic, uh, up it's also plastic to protect it. And then uh, on the new ones, on this one, you have a rubber inside on the tip and heel. That makes uh, the skis, uh, I should say, easy, easier turn. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, because it, uh, it's not so stiff in laterally. You see. And that's very good skis, very fast. Steady when you go fast. Simpson Sears um, have a, a laced boot here. Jean, and this laced boot, um, when you look at it, uh, with your tremendous knowledge of equipment, uh, would you say this is the type of equipment that uh, the average skier uh, would be well, well advised to use? Yeah, sure, and you know that uh, before the buckles, we, we had, every, everybody had uh, laced boots, so they shouldn't be, I shouldn't say that the, the boots are good or bad because of the laces or the buckles. Yes, they, the are, they are well made or not. <laughs> the buckles or the lace, uh, yeah. uh, that doesn't determine whether you're wearing a good no, boot or not. No, not completely. No. Uh, the fit, I imagine, of course, is the most important thing. Yes, it, yes. It? This is a fit. You have to be very well uh, support. How do you say that? Strongly supported. Strongly supported, yes. Yeah. And it should be not too stiff so that you can bend your knees and you're not hurt oh. in your ankles, uh, ankles not knees. Ankles. <laughs> I'd just like to hear your opinion of the um, heel piece on this, this release type mechanism that they have on uh, a lot of skis today. Um, is this being used in international competition at all? Um, quite a few. No, not uh, not every type there, especially when they are too mechanic. I should say that this is a bit too mechanic to be used in competition. Mm -hmm. uh, snow could go in, and, uh, well, uh, and it has to be very strong, for, especially for downhill, because if you if you lose your uh, if you lose your skis when you're in a in, on a bump or in a <laughs> hole at about. Uh, 70 miles an hour, it's very bad. It's very dangerous That's to lose your skis at 70 miles an hour, <laughs> I should think so. <laughs> but it's, it has to be, to be used by uh, the average people because uh, you, know, you don't want to, to break your, your legs on skiing, it's too bad. <laughs> and uh, right now, uh, there is less and less uh, accident like that because, uh, because of, of all these top and heels. There's one question that I'm just sort of anxious to ask you because uh, as you're very familiar with, and I think most of our viewers are familiar with it, the World Championships have just finished this summer in Chile. Uh, the world now knows that France and its competitors just made a clean sweep. Uh, what, why? What, what has France done uh, with their competitors to... I know you have won Olympics, you've won World Championships, you're French. Yes, this but is a story. How, how did the French achieve this dramatic win? They won almost everything. Yes, I should say that since, uh, if you remember, in uh, 56, that was in Cortina, we had no medal at all. Uh, in uh, 58, we had uh, two bronze medal. Uh, in 60, one, two, uh, two, bron two gold medal with uh, Guy Perrier and I. Guy Perrier won the combined. And uh, one bronze medal with Charles Boson. Then in '62, it was the World Championship in Chamonix. That was the beginning of the Guetchel, uh, Mariel Guetchel. The Guetchel, yes. Yeah. And Charles Boson, too, won the s s uh, slalom, special slalom. Uh, Peria was second. Well, I, I want just to say that it has been incre increasing and increasing. And it's you've be, the country has been developing these yes, continuously. Yes. I want to ask you one other thing. Your beautiful wife, I understand, is also a champion skier from France, has also skied in the French teams, and she, her brother, is also world champion? 
No, he's an Olympic champion. Olympic champion. This is uh, François Bonlieu. He won the gold medal in Giant Slalom in Innsbruck. You're from a, ski a real skiing family, and you've married uh, into a skiing family. <laughs> I wonder what we'll do with our, our children. <laughs> I hope they will be good skiers. <laughs> I'm very anxious to see. <laughs> they may end up being world champion swimmers. Uh, perhaps. <laughs> well, John, well, it's been a wonderful uh, meeting you and uh, having you on the show. I'm sure everybody has very enjoyed very much meeting you. Thank you. Did we cut?